Okay, everybody, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Type Raiders. It's a wonderful spring day, and I've got a 1950 Royal Quiet Deluxe for you. This is like a light gray crinkle paint, and it's got the uh, the cool uh, chrome designs here on the front, the wings. So let's jump right into this. Right here, we've got our paper guide. Voila! We have magic margins. I'll show you how to use that in a second. And if you want to manually do the margins, they're right there. Uh, there is no tab on this one, but the margins, uh, so um, I'll go back to the margins here in a second. Um, to move the carriage, you just, there's two small levers. Normally they're really big, but on this one, they're really small. They're right here behind the handles. Just pull that in. You can hear the bell. And um, so the bell always ding when you get to the margin, just to let you know, hey, you're at the end of your margin, time to hit your return handle. So if you wanna change that margin, you just hold the tab, this magic tab down and bring it to, and you know, use the carriage release as well, bring it to where you want it and then release, okay? So now, there you go, margin is out there. Same with this side. Hold it down, bring it to where you want it, release. So now your margins are way out there. But for the typing demo, I like them in. So I'm gonna bring it in to here, hit it to here, hit it. So the only time uh, when you're bringing it in, all you have to do is hit it. But when you're going out, you have to hold it while releasing the carriage to move the margins out. Okay, um, let's open up the top. I'll just pop that open inside. You'll see the escapement area. And we are using a universal ribbon. It works just fine on these. Black, red combo. When you do change it out, black is on top, red is on the bottom. You just pop these babies out, pop them back in, but then just make sure they're threaded through each of these guide wires properly. There is an up close photo of this on this product listing, if you use the link in the description, it takes you right to that. Even if it's sold, you can access it. Um, but once it is sold, you can only access it using the link that's in that description. So save that link or go to the link and then bookmark the photo, whatever you wanna do. Okay, um, these are called type bars. This determines how hard these type bars are gonna strike your paper. It's called touch control and you just adjust it to what you want. When you get to the end of the ribbon on your spool, you need to manually reverse. This is not an auto reverse ribbon. And to do that, it's right here. <clears throat> and so you just go back and forth dozens of times before you need to change out that ribbon because there's a lot of ink on there. Also to change the color, it's on red right now. Switch it over to red. The white selector, and um, let me... So you have white, black, red. The white selector means stencil. You will never use that and the typewriter won't type properly if it's on that. So if you are typing and you have issues when you're typing, there could be two things. One, try reversing the direction of your ribbon and two, make sure it's not on stencil and that it's firmly on one of these colors, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do a typing demo. So just set the paper right there, turn the handle, make sure the paper goes underneath your bar. And if it's uneven, you just pull, right here is a little lever on the right side, you just pull that forward. You can adjust your paper, re-engage. And then on the left side, when you hit the return handle, it's gonna advance one, two, or three lines. This is your line selector right here, okay, this lever next to the numbers. Now, the one that's closer in to the paper, that's gonna release this roller so that you can, let's say, you, you just need some fine tuning. Maybe you wanna do a superscript or a subscript, or you're trying to line up with lined paper or put an X in a box or something like that, and it doesn't, it's not easy to do that. You just pull this forward, it releases that, and you can do that. But make sure you re-engage, otherwise it's not gonna, advance properly. Let's go ahead and do a typing demo. So this is a 1950. I use the lowercase L for your number one, 1950. 
Royal Hyatt Deluxe. I happen to be a huge fan of the Royal Quiet Deluxe. I have four of them and um, I love typing on them. This has the tombstone keys, which means they're kind of like a half moon shape with a squared off bottom. So they look like a tombstone. This one does not have a tab option on it which a lot of people don't, I mean, they look for it maybe on their typewriter, but I'll be honest, like I never use my tabs, but some people do, they're really mainly for um, columns. Because nobody indents their paragraphs anymore. But they are not a necessary feature, they're, it's considered an extra feature. Okay, let's do some sentences. Okay, there's the bell, which should say, hey, now I should hit the return handle to go to the next line, but I'm gonna keep going to show you the margin release. Okay, so there it stops right there for me. So margin release, now I can finish my word. Let's do it in caps. Oops, typing a little too fast there. Let's do the red. We'll give that R a little work, that R was a little sticky there. So we'll work it over so it's not sticky for you. And I do have, if you go to my typewriter tips, we do have a video on how to uh, maintain your sticky keys, which is, it happens. It's, um, if you have the expectation that your typewriter, your keys will never stick on you, you have an um, unrealistic expectation that's just part of having a typewriter. So um, go to typewriter tips and watch that video and it's super easy. You just need Q-tips and um, mineral spirits and that's it. Okay, red. All right, types, wow. And oh, wanna know how to do an exclamation point? Because if you notice, there's no exclamation point on here. So do a period, backspace. Remember backspace does not erase. And then apostrophe. And you have yourself an exclamation point. All right, that's an extra tip in there for you. Thanks so much for watching. This is a great typewriter. I would say um, I do type books on my Royal Quiet Deluxes, but this one um, was a little more hesitant. It still typed very well. I don't know how else to explain it. So I would say this one is probably better for light to medium use, so your casual use if you're going to be doing poetry and letters and journals and in short stories and stuff like this. But for really long projects, I don't recommend this one. Um, the, not that it couldn't do it. I just would recommend something else above it. All right. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Bye-bye.